Hey beautiful! So today I'm giving you my how I curled my hair tutorial. As you guys know on from my Instagram on Easter I got a candle and a little lamp for it and also I got what else? A curling iron. Mm -hmm. I love the way my my hair feels with these curls in it. Oh my god. And I wanted to share with you guys this amazing curling iron and the way my hair looks cause all, and how I did this because oh but Jesus Lord I just love it. This is my second time using this curling iron and I can I have to say that it is the best curling iron I've ever used. I've had some past experience with curling irons and they just never seem to hold a curl in my hair unless I use a ton a hell of hairspray. With these I don't need to use a ton of hairspray even though in the video it shows that I do. Sorry. I used to have to like cake on my hairspray and I'll give you guys a little bit of my backgrounds for um, I didn't go to my junior prom I went to um, my boyfriend David's senior prom it's like about three years ago and I had my hair scrunched with gel because my hair wouldn't hold a curl and I was freaking out and I was like oh my god what the hell am I gonna do for prom and this I knew that was what I was gonna do for prom and I couldn't do it anymore and I was so pissed so I had my hair sleeked back and all curly, all those wet curls and oh, horrid. I hope no one ever sees any of those pictures, like ever. And then of course for my senior prom, I actually did curl my hair with a curling iron, but I used a ton of hairspray and my curls were like up here and I looked like George Washington. It was the worst thing I could have ever done for prom and I did it. But we learned from experience, it's now the year 2013, not 2010 or 2011. I'm 20 years old and I now know how to use a curling wand properly without all the hairspray. <laughs> Again, I am sorry about the lighting changing in the video. It was kind of dark before and now it's kind of light and right now I'm sorry about the lighting. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and yes, I'm not wearing any makeup today besides lip gloss because I can. And I didn't really feel like putting on makeup today because I'm going over to David's house later on tonight anyway. So what's the point of wearing makeup? There's no point. I just want to be a lazy bum. I'm wearing sweats. I'm wearing tank top. You know, that's it. But I'm going to stop babbling and I will get right to the tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it helped you in some way. And definitely leave me comments below of other stuff you guys want me to do because I'm just kind of picking things out of a hat here. Like I'm just like, okay, well this seems good. I'll do this this week or oh, I'll do a haul next week. I feel like if I bombard you guys with too many hauls and like too much of the same video, you just be like, oh, unsubscribe. Bye bye. And I don't want that because I love you guys, like seriously. So definitely let me know. I love you all. Bye. Hey guys, so first off I'm going to start by taking my hair out of my bun. As well as the things that you're going to need for this would be a brush and a comb, my some hair clips, a hair protectant of your choice, and hairspray. Heat protectant I meant. Ha <laughs> ha. So I'm just brushing out my hair and it gets really knotted after I put it in a bun at night. And now I'm just going to start by sectioning my hair off from where my bangs meet the rest of my hair. So from right there, I'm just going to tr go all the way back to my head with my nail. And usually it comes out kind of crappy. So then I take the comb and I just try to make it as straight as possible. Then next I'm just going to start by parting my hair from where my eyebrows are all the way back until both of my fingers touch each other and I just grab the top half of my hair and put it on top of my head and secure it with the hair clips. Then I'm going to take the rest of my hair that I didn't put up and get it ready with my heat protectant from Herbal Essence. It's the two kind which it has two layers so you definitely want to shake it if you have this heat protectant because oil on your hair makes it, ugh, it's just a mess. Just a mess. And I like to do this in separate layers because I feel like it distributes the heat protectant a lot better and I'm really an advocate for protecting your hair against the heat because my hair has been through hell and back. And I'm just going to be taking my Revlon curling wand. I love this curling iron. I'm going to be putting down below or on my blog what it actually is called because I don't know. <laughs> and it looks funny, hence why I laughed. And I just keep it on the temperature in between 375 and 400. And I'm just going to start by taking the hair and just wrapping it in between each of the beads. LOL, the beads. 
head out of the gutter, guys. And I hold each strand for at least 30 seconds, and then I release them. It's the most simplest and easiest hair curling iron I've ever had, and I'm dead serious about that. So amazing, and I love the way the curls look. So now that I've done one side, what I do is I just take my hairspray, and I'm just going to spray them lightly, not a lot, just lightly, so it'll hold the curl in place. Now the lighting changed. I put my window open. <laughs> I'm going to take my heat protectant again and I'm just going to put it on this side and now both of my sides are curled doing the same thing from what I just showed you guys. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. And Now I'm just going to be taking all the hair I just curled and putting it in the back of my head and securing it with a hair clip so it's out of the way and it gives room for the curls to fall a little bit. I hate curls that are upright towards my head like I just told you guys. Prom wasn't fun. And I'm just going to take in my hair and find my part. What am I doing? So I'm looking for my part again. And now I'm just going to be taking my bangs and putting those out of the way specifically because they're the shortest of my hair with a hair clip just on the top of my head. So I'm going to look a little funny. And now I'm going to take my hair from my temples before we took it from my eyebrows. Now I'm going to take it from my temples and put section off my hair. Can't talk today. What is this, guys? And just securing it again with the hair clips. And then again with the heat protectant, I will be taking it and putting it through my hair again. This layer of my hair. <laughs> Pardon me. And on the other side. Now I'm going to be taking strands of my hair. They can be big or small. It doesn't really even matter. And I curl my hair inwards and outwards. I try to do every other one in curled in and the other one curled out. And again, holding each strand for 30 seconds. And I just let them loose. I unravel them. And sometimes they don't want to unravel. So pretty. And now both sides of this layer are curled. Again, I'm going to take my hairspray and just spray them. And now taking out the back of my hair from where the other ones, other curls fell, I'm going to also secure those in the back of my head to keep them out of the way so they'll fall a little more. I just love the way that looks. My cute little hair clip. And again, I'm going to take my hair out from the top of my head. This can be a little time consuming, especially if you have long, thick hair like I do, but it's worth it. And now I'm going to separate my bangs again, as usual. And taking my heat protectant. And I like to start with the strands near my head always. I, the first one's like near my face to curl them kind of outwards so don't look so weird. And we're just repeating that process on one side of my hair and also on the other side. And now that this layer is totally curled, I'm going to spray it and take out the rest of the curls and just kind of blend them together. So they all look kind of normal. Not like, oh, hey, I just curled my hair. I just kind of run my fingers through it, just kind of make them all mesh. I've never had my hair this curly. And just running my fingers through it to give it a little bit more of not so of that, oh, hey, I curled my hair look like I just told you. A lot more hairspray. I swear I didn't use that much hairspray, guys. Seriously, I swear. And now I'm going to take my straightener because I'm going to straighten my bangs. I just recently cut them on Easter, and I cut them kind of weird, so that's why in most of my videos now you see me with my bangs kind of up and to the side because I hate how they look right now. So I'm just going to take my straightener and just straighten out my bangs. I know it's probably going to look bad with these curls, but I really don't care. I just like a way for them to look kind of 
decent and normal without having to put them up like I have been in the past. Curling them each way that I can. Curling. I'm straightening. What am I doing here? And more hairspray. Now I'm going to take my comb and I'm just going to flatten out the back of my hair where my part meets the back of my head so it doesn't look all bumpy and weird. And more hairspray. Okay, fine. I used a lot. Sorry. Sorry. And that is my curled hair. I hope you guys like it. I really do recommend this curling iron for anyone that especially has trouble curling their hair like me because it is just amazing and I love how my hair looks with all these curls in it. And I hope this helped you in some way. I love you guys. Bye.